And I'm telling you what, YouTube, I, I, I'm laughing at myself right now. I went through a whole layout of what I got in the box. And I hit the pause instead of the play. Yeah, I'm going to put that out there. Anyway, I ordered a Bethane rear hub drive rear kit. I already went through all this, but the main reason I ordered this kit was because it has a cassette on it. The reason why I'm worrying about a cassette is because with my Vermont setup, 1000 watt front, 1500 watt rear, it comes with a free wheel. I hate the free wheel because it only gives you certain range. Everyone knows that they don't have any kind of range when all they got to do is make, I don't understand, somebody please get down in the comments and explain to me why a free wheel can't have these kind of gears like the cassette does. My cassette over here has a 46. I want to get a 52, but I think the 46 is great. It, it does what I need. I can climb in a hill with it. This is going to be hard depending on the grade, but... I didn't have any issues with climbing into my heels around my area with this gear. So, that was my main reason for getting the Bafane rear kit. Now, they boast about how much torque they got in the rear. And, you know, this one around my heels with that small gear, I still was able to go up my heels, assisting it a little bit with just using the rear motor. Now, if I use the front and rear motor, I didn't have to sit nothing. I could just sit there and go up the hill. And it takes me up the hill, all the hills I have, it took me up about 25 miles an hour up those hills. I was really surprised. I was like, okay. I'm pretty sure it was killing my battery. With this kit, they didn't offer the LCD. I had the little flips with the little indicators. And I have seen the Vermont kits that have the LCD, but I didn't get one. I mean, I at the time, I didn't see it. It's like they hide stuff on Amazon and eBay and stuff. They show you the cheaper versions, and then you, you see the, the, the LCD kits later. And then a lot of times, I think they had them on just... Uh, just regular tire bikes, like I say regular tire, but like 27.5 or 26s or 29s. You know, the, the 26 fat bike, you don't see those LCD screens offered, which I'm trying to like, why? But with doing research, I saw that you can get the controller with the LCD screen for the Vermonts. So that's what I did. I ordered controllers taking forever to get here. I ordered the controller in January, 1st of January, and it hadn't gotten here yet, but uh, I'm hoping it comes so I can try it out before I take this kit off and go with just the profane. But like I said, one big reason I'm going to probably do it anyway is because I want my cassette back. Now, to be honest, I'm probably going to order a mid-drive for this one. With this bike, I'm going to take this kit off and put it on another bike that I purchased, and I'm going to order the mid-drive kit to put on this bike. I'm going to put the Bafane on this one and see how it works out. And you know, everybody's wilding about the mid drive that sold this and that. And I can see the differences with the with the with the gear and what they're saying because you're using your your gears as transmission. But I have had my chain come off on on me on this one once. This back when before I really got everything dialed in, but I still was able to come back to the house and then straighten everything out and then get back out. If you get the mid drive and your chain come off and something happen, ain't gonna be none of that. It's gonna be now you gotta push. So I don't know. I'm, I'm you know, this buffet ain't gonna be the one of the last. Not last, but one of the last tests I do. So I probably should have just did a back test on this one, but I went ahead and ordered the front. Because these kits are, I don't want to say cheap, but they're they're good. 
for the price kits, put it that way. So we're gonna do the profane. I ain't gonna keep on talking. Oh, yeah, I did a whole unboxing thing and didn't record nothing, but I'll go back over it. With the profane kit, you do get a controller box to put your controller in. That's nice. No problem for that. I'm gonna tell you right now. My other two, um, they're about as big as this box. Yeah, you looked at my other videos, you saw them when I put them on my down tube up under there. They're about as big as this box, especially the 1500. It's definitely as big as this box, but the 1000 is probably half, well, not half, but a third of this box, like three fourths of this box. So, this, I, I, don't, I don't know, that's that's a little. Look at that. That thing is half that box right there. You can put two of these controllers. You can get two kits and put two of these controllers in this box and run two controllers on, you know, two motors with that right there if you want to, with that little box. But also came with the controller. Get it this time. This little extension, I don't know what that goes to yet, but we'll find out. Um, Came with a light. I like that. Um, you got your thumb controller, thumb throttle, and I'm trying to understand this one, but I have the cadence sensor with the magnets thing, and I also have. This, which I don't know if this is a torque sensor. I'm thinking it's just a cadence sensor also. Maybe you're going to use either or, depending on the one you want to use, I guess. But that's what I'm thinking that is, regardless. But I'm thinking maybe if you have a different type setup, you use this. I don't know. But I'm I'm wanting to use this one because it looks like it worked better to me. Uh, then I was downing them because they sent me these mechanicals and i was like why are they sending me the mechanicals i sent them the email and they said okay and blah 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 i'm talking about my my seller and they said yeah we got you we got you and i was like oh man they didn't send them. but then i looked and lo and behold here are the hydraulic brake sensors so, yeah, they did send them. I was going off for a second, and I had to shut up and recant everything I said. So, let's see. this is the splitter connector. I'm gonna like this kit too because everything is plug and play. The other kit I had to I had to do some 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 shaming up. Okay, so that's that. And then there's another thing. Look at these. Thin little, these wires are super thin compared to my other kit. I'm hoping that it's just that efficient and it don't need that much current going through there, but I don't know. And then we got the main harness from the motor, which is another good thing because you just unplug one thing, take your back wheel off if you got to change the tire or something. Mine, yeah, I already said I'm not going to disconnect it. I'll just take the little... And of course, you got your directions and stuff. Yeah, I won't be depositing them in the wrong thing. So I'm going to have to have them. And we got our uh, bolts. Now, this is one thing that ain't going to work. It's already got some, so it don't matter. But, yeah, these little caps right here, they, it's like, that's as far that's as far as you're supposed to tighten them down. Nah, that's not going to work. But anyway. So that's the kit. That's the whole layout. I'm going to go ahead and get started putting it on. And I'll give you a test ride later. I'm just going to get this out on there. But yeah. The main thing I like about the wheel. Cassette, baby. I get to keep my gears. That's what I like about that wheel. I get to keep my gears. So it is one other thing they could have sent in the box is... The protector for the um your liner for the wheel they could have sunk that i mean i got one on the other one but i'm just saying would have been nice all right enough of that 
let me go ahead and put this kit on and see how that works out give you my real review all right later